Mr. Holster here, back with another product someone sent me. This one happens to be a 5.11 Tactical. 5.11 Tactical t-shirt. Now from their Tactical series. It's in black. It's a polyester spandex type material. And it has two holsters on it to wear underneath uh, your shirt, jacket, whatever, to carry a I see it as a backup firearm, but I suppose you could use it to carry a primary one even. So let's take a look at it. It's kind of unique in that it uses a compression material. I'm not a big, yeah, I'm an old guy. I wear cotton t-shirts. So this is, this is more like the current sport wear with a spandex polyester kind of compression fabric. And it's kind of important to have that in this, this shirt. If you don't like tight-fitting clothing, well, don't buy this item. Because if you buy it two sizes bigger, thinking you're going to get it loose, yeah, your holster's not going to work then. It needs to be a compression shirt to make the holster function correctly. I just want to get that clear right away. I got extra large, and yeah, it's, it's plenty of compression, and you'll see that. <laughs> As we go along. So uh, just a little warning there. Get a wax bag and sit back and be prepared. So here we go. You've got two holsters, one on either side. The concept being if you're if you're right-handed, yeah, if you're right-handed, you're going to use the left side of the shirt or the holster on the left. If you're left-handed, you're going to use the holster on the right. Or if you want, you can carry two firearms, of course, as Leroy Thompson always used to say the quickest reload is a second firearm, but you can use the second holster to carry your, your backup magazines. So there you go. It's got two Velcro closures to hold it tightly together once your firearm's in there. We'll demonstrate it here down the road as we go. Yeah, this might be a long one. And inside there, you've got a nice neoprene pad that sits between you and the firearm that covers this entire area that holds the firearm, or we'll call it a holster. And that protects you from it digging in your side, but also at the same time protects the firearm from your sweat. It's got a whisking type material around that to kind of get some air flowing through it. The outside here has that same whisking kind of material. It's very thick and it almost feels like a foam kind of material. It's thick enough and that helps kind of soften the edges on the firearm. I'm sure that makes a big difference in the concealability. On the bottom of it you have an uh, extra bit of material that's a little stiffer and a little more formidable to uh, keep that muzzle of the firearm from breaking through quite so fast because you're going to wear this thing out eventually but that's going to keep that from happening right off the bat. Kind of nice well made shirt nicely done. So I thought what I'd do here they sent me a couple I thought I'd try one on which I've got on and I'll, I'll take this jacket off and show you how it looks and we'll put different size firearms in there that I've got. I've got a small firearm, a mid-size firearm, and a full-size service firearm where we're going to put in the holster and I'll show you some of the technique on drawing it and you can get a good idea of how it conceals without anything over it, just the way it looks, period, with the t-shirt and the firearm in it. Plus we'll put some shirts on and give you an idea of what kind of concealment you actually have. So To demonstrate Let's here, that. yeah, you get the thrill of your life, you get to see Mr. Holster wearing a skin-tight shirt. I know you've waited for this a long time. So I've got this kind of like a jacket shirt on. It's got this nice soft fleece interior. Nice to have like an open jacket or shirt like this because when you need to get to the, the firearm, you can grab the shirt, sweep it back, and catch this holster with your hand. Pull it and the two Velcro tabs that are on that to keep it closed, the closures, will pop loose like that. You can take your other hand, reach in, get your proper grip. And you need to get your proper grip before you bring the firearm out. Take your time and do that and deploy it and there you go. This happens to be my Ruger EC9S. 
I thought what else I'd do is I've got two other firearms here. I got a Glock 19, a Glock 21. I'd take the shirt off and you could see what I look like in a skin tight shirt. And I put these in so you could see how they print through on the shirt itself. And then I'd try putting on a couple different shirts over it just to give you an idea on the printing, which, you know, it really depends on your attire and, and how big the shirt is. Basically, you're going to have to wear a really loose shirt over this if you're going to have a regular shirt to get it concealed if you get anything large in this firearm, I think. But we'll see. So let me just disrobe here. <laughs> yeah. I know you're thrilled about this. So we'll start with the EC9S. We'll put it back in that pouch, holster pouch there, and you can see, I'll step back a little bit and hopefully you can see how it looks to get an idea of what kind of actual concealment you're getting here. And the one thing I have noticed in the limits of time I've had this thing on is the smaller the firearm, the easier it is to draw because in order to get your proper grip, you got to reach down in there. And that's the point. Reach down because it's a smaller firearm. It's much easier to get the proper grip. Let's put the Glock 19 in. I'll tell you, show you what I'm talking about. Now that you've got a bigger gun, the backside of the grip obviously is higher up on the holster, which makes it a little more difficult when you go to draw the gun to get a proper grip before you pull it out. You reach in and it takes you a little more time to get that proper grip because you really have to force the gun down a little bit and get your hand in there deeper and turn it to make it work. Let's put it back in so you can see how it prints with nothing over. Get an idea. Keep your eye on the gun. So let's try the big gun. I, I don't think you're going to be carrying anything bigger than this. It does actually fit. It's a little more difficult to draw and of course you're going to have to wear uh, something substantial over it to cover it up. So, And I think the, the real idea with these t-shirt things is a small backup firearm is what they're designed to be carry and backup ammunition in one side, backup firearm in the other. So. Take a look at what it's like with the Glock 21, 45 ACP. And of course, the Glock 21 is a very wide firearm due to the capacity of the magazine and the large round. So I doubt you're going to have anything that you're going to find bigger than this to carry. It actually does fit in it and actually does support it quite well. And I you see this is part of the deal. Yeah, you may not like looking at Mr. Holster in this tight compression t-shirt, but it's got to be compressed. Don't think you can buy yourself this t-shirt in triple X so it'll be comfortable and loose because then the holster's not going to work because it, it needs to compress on your body to support the firearm inside the holster. Just thought I'd mention that. But actually not bad. We'll try it with this coat on and see if it if it's enough to conceal the biggest firearm and actually yeah I think it really is this this jacket coat is is loose enough it would work just fine and of course you could wear a lot of things over this you could wear which would be easy for me because I, yeah, I wear them all the time the western snap shirts if you had a western snap shirt you could have the same thing you could grab it like this pop the snaps at the same time catch that holster open it, reach in, and deploy the firearm, it would work fine. I think when you start getting into jerseys and polo shirts, so it's going to be a little more difficult. So why don't I get into one of those? We'll talk about that. But before I do, I'll give you one more look. I don't think there's any need for me to show you the 19 or the EC9S in a jacket, sport coat, or a shirt like this because... It may print a little bit, but you could get away with it. Just be cognizant of not to run around like this. Maybe don't dance around on the dance floor with it, and it'll be fine. Of course, the smaller the gun, the easier it's going to be for you. I don't think you need to see each gun in there with this. 
I think I made my point. Let's put that, I'll go get a polo shirt, we'll put it on and you can see what it's like. So here we are with an inexpensive polo shirt on and a Glock 21. You can see how that looks, how much it shows. So really the thing is designed, if you're going to wear a larger firearm, you're going to have to have a sport coat or some sort of jacket on to get away with it. It's going to be kind of, uh, yeah, kind of a show and tell otherwise. But it does fit in there nicely. It's just a little harder to get out because you got to get your hand up over the top to get a grip to pull it out. Here's the Glock 19. Let's try that in the holster. See how that looks. Obviously, the smaller the gun, the better it looks, the more concealable it is. Again, let's draw. That was a little easier, but still and not the fastest thing in the world because you got to again still get your hand up on top of it, but it functions. Last, we'll try a smaller firearm, the Ruger EC9S. We'll put that in there. And there you go. And you, know, you can tell me, because I can't see myself, you can tell me if that would pass or not and make the decision. Again, it's kind of immaterial to me because I don't think I'd be using this except for in the months where I'm wearing a coat anyway. So, But I don't know, this is probably not all that bad with something small like that. And of course there's smaller firearms out than this firearm. Nothing smaller I'd care to use. But my thought in this process would be this would make a very nice way to carry a backup firearm. Again, the shirt is going to speed up your draw. This is probably the worst combination other than tucking it in would make it worse. But you're going to have to use one hand to pull it up. And the other hand, you're going to have to snake through between that Velcro. Get your hand, get your grip on that firearm. Because you really got to get your grip on that firearm before you pull it out. You can't pull it out and then mess around getting a decent grip, obviously. You're better off taking the time to reach in, get your grip, and bring it out. So the smaller the gun, the easier it is to get that grip. Well, there you go. The 511 Tactical Holster T-Shirt. Nice product. It come in real handy for me for using a the backup firearm, that Ruger EC9S. A couple things I want to talk about though before I leave you for the day. Number one is, this is a lot of polyester and I, I'm willing to bet I'm going to really enjoy this in the winter time, probably in the spring and the fall even, but in the summertime I bet I don't use it at all. First off, you got to have something over it. So now you're wearing two things, but on top of that, I don't think this thing is going to breathe as much as you might think. So in, you get above 70 degrees, I think, with another shirt on top of it, it's going to be kind of warm. So I'm going to, I'm going to state this for you guys that live down south. You're, you're used to the heat more than me, so maybe it wouldn't bother you. But if I were you, I would order the V-neck version of this and not the crew neck that I got. Because I think with the V-neck in there, it's going to breathe better for you. And you're going to be a lot more comfortable. And again, I'm going to caution you not to order something that's a larger size, thinking you can, you can get it and it'll be looser and more comfortable that you don't want the compression fit because you need that compression or the holster's not going to work. I think I covered that base pretty good. One last thing I'm going to talk about before I leave you, because I think it's important to be said. My Ruger EC9S, it's going to function fine in this holster. I'll be perfectly comfortable with it. But if I were going to use a gun in this, I would want to have which this Ruger EC9S has. It has a safety. 
if I did if I had a firearm that didn't have a safety on it I would want it to be a double action only firearm say a Smith and Wesson 642 that has no exposed hammer and is double action only or a Beretta Centurion D double action only the old double action only what I call square revolvers or Sig Sauer 250. I think to use this type of t-shirt with a Glock with no safety on it, you're taking a big risk because while your trigger is fully covered with this mesh material, you could snag it with something, and I know the chances of it happening are, are next to nil, but uh, Mr. Holster seems to always be the guy that you would never think it happened to and it happened to him. You see what I'm saying? And if you caught something on that, you could have a negligent discharge by that trigger getting pulled. So I'd really want to use a firearm that's either really incredibly hard to have that happen to, like a double action only firearm with a 10 pound trigger pull or more, or I'd want to use a firearm that had a safety that had to be deployed before that trigger could be pulled. There you go. There's there's my little thought on things. But Mr. Holster's an anal guy, and and he worries about those things. I know nowadays it's not fashionable to worry about what might happen because it'll never happen to you, right? Yeah. Well, there you go, guys. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed the the little kind of review of the holster t-shirt by 511 Tactical, and I'm glad to have it, and I'm sure I'll use it this winter like crazy. And I'll report back to you after I've used it quite a while, and maybe do another review after I've used it for six months. But Thanks for tuning in, guys. I know it was a long one, but I really wanted to do a good review of this, because I think this thing could be, it's expensive, at around 50 bucks, but I think there's a lot of guys out there that might really benefit by using one of these. I know I will, because it just it's going to make it so much easier to carry that backup firearm. Thanks for tuning in. Until next time, from Mr. Holster and Jack, go out and stay safe.